just stub and go. No need to tie down your tuck tech high. Unless it's a German sub-bunk from the Cold War. It even fits in the smallest of vehicles. All right, let's go to the lake. We're gonna scout our adventures. And today, it's time to try our new Tuck Tech kayak. And if you help me to grow my channel, please like and subscribe. Lake Frederick here in Virginia is the perfect spot to test my new Tuck Tech kayak. As you can see, it's really compact and easy to travel with. If you're planning a long trip or you need fast speed, then these ones are wonderful and preferred. My affordable kayak is a lot more convenient and it's only, it's really lightweight sitting at 25 pounds. It's also better to take on vacations and long road trips. In the time I took my parents to un take out the, our hard shell kayak, I was able to unfold our tuck tech kayak. It's really easy to unfold and it's really easy to do after you've done it a couple times. So I've seen a lot of stuff on social media about people standing up, so I'm going to try it. So it seems pretty stable. But what's the fun of that? As you can see, it's really stable. It's really refreshing seeing this today, it's almost 88 degrees. Honestly, the Tuck Tech kayak is really stable, but it is a little bit tricky to climb onto. But I found a solution, you climb onto either the back or the front. Possible. As you can see, this is what happens if you try to get in on the side. But it does float even with me in it. I think I can kayak like this. Like any other kayak, what you want to do to drain out all the water is you want to put the front of the kayak on another person's kayak and just kind of wiggle back and forth until all the water is clean. First, you need to turn it over. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Now that we have it balanced, all we have to do is we just have to flip it over. Ninety percent of the time you won't get wet unless you try to get wet. But you should remain pretty dry for most of your time using this kayak. Unless you're using anything above a class two wrap. This kayak directs really well. It also has great maneuvering. If you want a nice kayak for long road trips, then Tuck Tech is your one that you need to get. It's a couple hundred bucks cheaper, and it's also it's easy to stow away and transport. the Tech Tech hike is it's pretty good. There are a couple of negatives such as the seat. Uh, a lot of people that I know modify it and you can modify it however you want but also it's pretty tough getting in the kayak once you jump out. It's also pretty slow compared to other ones but it's great for just directing forward. It has pretty good maneuvering skills and it's I recommend it if it's just a lot cheaper than a normal kayak. It'll suit your whatever you want to do. The great thing about this kayak is it's really easy to float up and put away. So an example is we were able to put our Tuck Tech kayak away before the group that came and left before us were able to put away their kayaks. 
So, so some really good positives about this is it's great for transportation. You can take it on really good road trips and it'll take up barely any space. It's really good, it has really good stability. Uh, it has great maneuvering skills and great directing. Uh, and it's also really light, which is a really good factor. Uh, I'm sitting at just 25 pounds. Three hundred. So guys, my overall review on the Tech Tech hike is it's really good for the amount of money it costs versus a regular one. There's only a couple minor differences, but it should suit you for whatever you're trying to do. So guys, this is about the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, please subscribe, and also please comment. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!